In this video, we want to solve the measure of this angle right here. If you notice, it's not in the center of the circle. And there's a formula for this, and we will also kind of prove this formula. So the measure of angle x is equal to 1 half times parentheses, the measure of the angle of this arc, and the measure of the angle of this arc. And for this particular problem, x is equal to 1 half times parentheses 80 degrees, plus 20 degrees, and so x is equal to 50 degrees. And we will prove this. But if you want to pause the video and think how could we prove this, feel free. And so the first thing I'll give is we need to use inscribed angles. And if you're not familiar with inscribed angle, I would recommend checking out the previous video. And so if I go from this point all the way to this point of the circle, and I go from this point of the circle all the way to this point of the circle, then I would have an inscribed angle. If this arc right here is 20 degrees, I know by inscribed angle that y would equal 10 degrees. Likewise, if I go from here all the way to this point of the circle, and from here all the way to this point of the circle, and I know that this arc right here is 80 degrees, I know the value of z. It's going to be 1 half. Again, inscribed angle. So now we have two pieces, and we know a triangle is 180 degrees. And so we will know this value right here. And so this value right here would be 180 minus 10, minus 40, or 130 degrees. Finally, we can use supplementary angles. If we know this is 130 degrees, we would know that this value right here would be 50 degrees. And that's pretty much it for this video.